Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my empties for the month of May. I did finish off a lot of stuff. Honestly, not as much as I usually do, but for some reason this month felt so much shorter. So yeah, anyways, I am going to go ahead and go through everything that I finished up in the month of May. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some candles. So the first candle that I finished off is the Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles candle, which I enjoyed so much. The notes on this are rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherry. This was amazing. I honestly got this off of the Candle Channel's recommendation here on YouTube. He said this was absolutely amazing. So I had to try it and he wasn't lying. So it's so good, chocolate cherries basically, and I really enjoyed it for the month that I was using it. And um, I did have this in my project pan for candles, which I did use it for two months and then finish it off. So yeah, it was an amazing candle, great burn. Um, at some points the wicks were like a little, like getting puny wick syndrome, but they never really went out on their own. So yeah, it was gorgeous. It was a great burn. And then the other candle I finished off is Strawberry Pound Cake. She's a classic. I actually used this up in one month. I started off right here and then just finished it off the whole month, but it was amazing. It did get a little like sooty, but it probably was user error because I'm pretty sure I put this on and then like forgot about it after a few hours and then finally remembered that it was on and went and, you know, blew it out. But this is Fresh Picked Strawberries, Golden Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. I love this candle. I think I'm definitely going to pick up another one at SAS. I really like to have it around as something to use in the kitchen after we cook. Um, we'll put on some sort of like really strong either like gourmand scent or fruity scent. Right now I have Island Margarita going down there, but um, something like that, it really gets the scent out of whatever you're cooking and it smells so good. So this one was really amazing. I absolutely loved it. Okay, let's move to body care because I did finish off a few. I have Story Pound Cake in the Moisturizing Body Wash. Really, really yummy. Um, this took me a long time to use up. I think I got it in 2020. And yeah, we're here in 2022. Finally finished it up. But it was in my spring project use it up. And I used it over a few months while I was like halfway finished and really loved it. I've found myself actually really enjoying the Moisturizing Body Washes. This formula I thought I didn't like, but I actually really enjoy it. So I'm definitely planning on getting one at SAS in some different scent, but it was so yummy. And I do agree, it's a little bit more moisturizing than the regular shower gels. So I really enjoyed it. And then a shower gel that my boyfriend Ryan finished is Classic Flannel. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's because he's working out more often. He's taking two showers a day. So he's been going through body wash like crazy. And I'll show you one that he's helped me finish for this project and he's already got a lot of progress on it. So. But yeah, classic flannel. Oh my God, that smells so good. It is fresh bergamot, patchouli spice, and sweet amber. I got him this for Christmas actually, and he didn't start using it until a few months ago, but oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful manly scent. I really, really like it. So if it comes out again, I'm definitely gonna buy it, but it was really, really yummy. And then I finished off a Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar Little Mini Body Lotion. I did like this scent. It was nothing like crazy. I probably wouldn't get a full size but I really enjoyed it. It was like nice and fruity and fresh. So it was good for the time that I used it. Next, I finished off a pink, warm and cozy little mini body mist. And the scents on this are soft vanilla, toasted coconut and passion fruit. I'm definitely planning on picking up another one, maybe even a full size at this year's SAS for pink. Honestly, their deals are not that good for SAS though, but I'll still pick one up because this scent is amazing. I've loved it since high school. It is such a good like just cozy scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It's so yummy. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend picking it up, but yeah, finish that one off. And then I think like the last body care item is Pink Pineapple Sunrise in the hand cream. I love the Bath and Body Works hand cream formula. It's so good. And this scent was really yummy, like basically pineapple juice and I think berries, which I don't know if berries are actually in the notes, but that's what I got. It was such a really yummy scent and I'm just like thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, I guess this is body care, but I finished off a Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lavender Scent Hand Soap. This was in our um, shared bathroom downstairs. So just finished that off. I think the landlords left this one for us for when we moved in. So it's been there for a few months. <laughs> okay, and then it was refill month for our wallflowers. So we finished off three of these Glade plug-in refills. They're all in the scent, like fresh linen, I think. And it's just like a really nice scent to keep the house smelling good and not musty. We do have two dogs right now, so it's it can smell like dogs if we don't have these going. So we always have these going at all times. 
And then upstairs, I have two Bath & Body Works wallflower refills. So I have one in the bathroom and one in the hallway. So the first one I finished off is Cozy Linen. And that one I think we did in the bathroom. And then I have Waikiki Beach Coconut, which we finished off in the hallway. So those two were really, really yummy. And I do have one random pocket back in Twisted Peppermint. I was really trying to finish this off because I had like two more uses out of it. So I just stuck it in my purse and finished it off. And honestly, this could be a scent that is good for year round. It's just like a nice minty fresh scent. So really love that. I did finish off two Walmart waxes. The first is Sensational's Feeling Cozy Warm Woods and Crisp Apple. I got this last fall and just finally finished it up in the bedroom. It was a really good bedroom scent, basically like a clean linen scent. It's very strong. I would say like clean linen and like soapy kind of. I don't get any apple in this one. I get just like warm woods, clean linen, soap. Um, but it was really good for the bedroom. It, it was like nice and fresh kind of smelling. So I did like that. And for what, $2, I would definitely pick it up again. And then I just finished off Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Cookie Crunch in the kitchen. And this one's so good. Oh, it just smells like you're baking and it has like a little butteriness to it. And it's just like so yummy. So I definitely need to go back and pick this up in like the large bricks that they sell at Walmart because this is like such a good staple and I need to have it on hand at all times. So I think I'm going to go pick up a brick of this one, but it's so good. And then a random just multivitamin. I picked up the Ollie Women's Multivitamins. This was really expensive and I don't think I pick it up again because I didn't really notice the biggest difference. Um, they were really tasty. I'll give them that, but I did pick up some like generic ones from Target and I think that they're just fine. So, okay, we're going to end it off on skincare. So the first thing I finished is the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser for Normal Skin. So this has salicylic acid in it. Um, I really like to do a gentle cleanser in the morning and then a like acne prone cleanser at nighttime because I do have hormonal acne and then that also really helps to get makeup off my face. So this was my morning one. I did like it. I don't think it did much for my skin. I'm trying out a new one from um, Pixie right now and we'll see if that does a lot for my skin. But this one was nice. It definitely did not break me out or like make me, it didn't change my skin at all is basically what I'm trying to say. It didn't do anything different. So I guess it's good that it didn't hurt my skin, but it, I don't think it really helped. And the last thing I have is the Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner with 2% salicylic acid. And I use this whenever I have breakouts or um, after I pop a pimple. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I still do it. Um, not often though, I swear. But yeah, I'll use this after just to clean it up or if I'm seeing a breakout happen, um, I'll start using this and I love it. I absolutely love it. I've already repurchased it. I've used this on and off for like four years ever since I really had acne. So really been loving it. So yeah, that is all for the empties of this month. I did not finish off a lot of candles. Typically I'm at like three or four candles per month. And this month I really only finished off two, but I'm gonna give myself a little slack because I did have vacation this month, which, um, you know, it just happens and you can't burn candles on vacation. And I did also finish off a lot of body care, so that was good. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.